So today we take an in-depth look at Serato DJ version 1.9.3 and its new link feature. Coming up. Thanks for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so first let's take a look at how to set up link for Serato DJ 1.9.3. So first you're going to want to go into your setup to the DJ preferences and make sure that Simple Sync or Smart Sync is enabled and Snap to Beat Grid is enabled. Once those are good to go, you'll notice here in the top left, you'll see a link button that was not here in previous versions right next to the Quantize. So when I turn the link button on, you'll notice the Sync button here changes to Link. That shows you that link is enabled instead of sync. And I've noticed that turning on quantize helps out in the sync process and you'll see why in a second. So now that we have link ready to go here, let's switch to Ableton. So for Ableton Live, as long as you're 9.6 or above, you'll have this link button enabled right here on the left side as well. Just go ahead and turn that on and you'll notice it has the link number one showing that one other device is linked <clears throat> and you'll see that it's kind of running just in the background so if I hit link here notice that it switches automatically to the BPM in Ableton so if I go ahead and move the Ableton BPM up and down notice right here the BPM in Serato changes as well and it follows along so let's get an example going So I have, this, I have this loop going. Notice that it followed the BPM up and down no matter how far up or down I went. Link can get knocked off if your quantize is off and if you're mashing on the cue points a bit. Uh, I think this is just something that has to do with how it's linked up right now. Hopefully that can be improved in the future. But I think this is a great start. I mean, think of like being able to have a bunch of clips here, different loops, sort of like the remix decks in Tractor, but having the flexibility of Ableton running in the background of running Serato and having them BPM synced. There's a lot of possibilities here and I'll be diving in deeper and figuring out how I can add this to my live setup. So if you have Ableton Live and Serato DJ, I will check it out as well. One more cool thing that can be done with Link besides linking with Ableton Live is being able to link up with iOS apps such as iMachine or Core Gadget. My guy DJ Mac has done a quick video and tutorial on how to he linked up iMachine with Serato DJ. I'll go ahead and link that up in the card in the right hand corner right now. Go ahead and check that out. Re really good video. Shows you how versatile this thing is. So shout out to DJ Mac and be sure to give that video a view. I hope you guys enjoyed that look at the new link feature in Serato DJ version 1.9.3. Hope you guys get ideas on how to use it creatively in your sets. So question of the day, how do you plan on using the new link feature? Go ahead and leave that down in the description below. And if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching P.TV, where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.